Hi, I'm William Spaniel. Let's learn some game theory. Today we're going to see how a mixed strategy can strictly dominate a pure strategy, even when there are no strictly dominant pure strategies. Take a look at this game. Note that player 1 has two options. He can risk moving up or down and get either a good or a bad payoff depending upon what player 2 does. Or he can essentially opt out of the game by moving to the middle, which will give him zero regardless of her move. So let's try solving this using the tools I've given you before. First, let's see if there are any dominant peer strategies. Well, there definitely isn't one for player 2. Left pays better when player 1 moves down, but right pays better when player 1 moves up. And we're running into a similar problem for player 1. Up is better than both middle or down if player 2 moves left, but down is better than both middle and up if player 2 moves right. So we can't eliminate any pure strategies using the form of dominance we know thus far. That being said, consider the mixed strategy 0.5 up, 0.5 down. Note that if player 2 moves left, player 1 earns 2 50% of the time, and negative 1 the other 50% of the time, which comes out to 0.5 if you add those two together. And we'll leave that 0.5 right there just for the time being. Now suppose player 2 moves right. Here player 1 earns negative 1 50% of the time, and 2 the other 50% of the time, which again adds up to 0.5. And we'll leave that here. Now take a look at player 1's payoffs for playing middle. They're both 0. But player 1 can mix between up and down using that 50-50 probability distribution, and earn a payoff that is greater regardless of whatever player 2 does. In other words, this mixed strategy between up and down strictly dominates middle. Consequently, a rational player would never play middle, so we can remove it from our matrix. Which leaves us with just this. And we're very good at solving 2x2 two two matrices by now. As it turns out, the equilibrium for this game is for player 1 to mix 50-50 between up and down, and for player 2 to mix 50-50 between left and right. I'll leave this to you to verify on your own. In later videos, we will solve large matrices like this, even when we can't eliminate a strategy via any means.